Welcome back to KTRIPS, the Kansas Truck Routing and Intelligent Permitting System User Tutorial videos. This video will give you a few helpful hints to navigate the permitting system effectively and with ease. Help is provided throughout the system. A question mark icon is displayed if a field has a help message associated. Hovering over the icon displays a brief explanation of the field. Clicking on the icon will display a detailed help message. There are several informative links directly on the login page. The first link, Tutorial Videos, will bring you to a list of all of the tutorial videos offered to help navigate the system effectively. You can also find the Kansas Permit Office contact information listed here. The second link, User Guide, will display a PDF of the full user guide offering detailed instructions on all aspects of KTRIPS. The Permit Fees link will show you a list of all permit fees. The last link, Statutes and Regulations, will bring you to a page showing the rules and regulations for the state of Kansas. You can also find the Kansas Permit Office contact information using this link. KTRIPS offers several great features that can be accessed straight from your company dashboard. Once on the company dashboard, you'll notice the administrative panel links on the upper left hand side. These links perform different functions regarding your company account. The company data link will display the company data screen where you can edit your username, password, and vehicles if you are listed as a supervisor on the account. If you have the status of user, clicking on the company data link will allow you to edit your name, email address, phone number, and change your password. All users should enter a prompt question and response in order to reset a forgotten password. This saves time, allowing you to bypass calling the permit office for a password reset. Users with a status of supervisor can edit company information such as the DBA name, primary email contact, default delivery method, contacts, terminal, users, and vehicles. To set up a new user, click the New button and fill in all of the required information. To edit an existing user, including deactivating, locking out, or deleting a user, find the user's name in the drop-down list and click the Edit button. This will pull up the user's information so you can edit the details for that specific user. Also on the left side, under the Administrative panel, you'll find the Customer Support panel. If a KTRIPS Live Chat Support Specialist is available for chat, the Live Chat button will turn green and display online. The functionality of this is similar to any instant messenger system you might have used previously. If a KTRIPS Live Chat Support Specialist is not available, you can use the Request Support Callback function, which will allow you to leave your telephone number, email address, and a brief note addressing your concerns. The Kansas Permit Office aims to respond to all callback requests within 24 hours. In the upper right hand corner of your company dashboard, you will find four icons. The first icon, the question mark, will take you to the help context which offers detailed help regarding the use of the KTRIPS. The FAQ button will bring up the FAQ and answers. The guide button will open the company user guide which explains the system and system functionality in its entirety in a PDF format detailing how to use KTRIPS. The last icon is the exit button which will log you out of KTRIPS. In the upper right hand corner you'll find your shopping cart. It shows the permits awaiting payment. Clicking the shopping cart will display a summary of permits awaiting payment. The shopping cart can also be opened in the administrative panel on the dashboard. Clicking on the link will bring you to the shopping cart. The number of permits awaiting payment will populate between the parentheses. The messages panel located on the right side of your dashboard under the shopping cart will keep you informed with important updates concerning KTRIPS. Another feature the company dashboard provides is being able to view and print any issued and not expired permit directly from the dashboard. Click directly on an issued permit number hyperlink as long as the permit still has a status of issued. This will open your permit so that you can view and print the PDF directly from here. The dashboard can show up to 200 permits at a time. After scrolling to the bottom of the company dashboard, from the show drop down list, you can select the amount of records to display. This will pull up all permit types and all permit statuses for easier access to any permit started, unfinished, pending, issued, or expired. You can also search for specific permits. Click the expand chevron icons next to the search permits hyperlink to open the search criteria. Select the criteria for which you want to search, such as the permit number, permit type, VIN, or dates. Type the required information into the empty field based on the search by criteria and click go. The dashboard will now list all permits for your company meeting the search criteria. Clicking the hyperlink column titles directly on the dashboard will filter the permits listed on the dashboard by permit number ID, type, submitted, or status. 
The Select link in the Action column on the dashboard performs a variety of actions. Any permits on your dashboard with a status of unfinished can be cleared from the dashboard by clicking the Select hyperlink in the Action column. Choose Cancel Permit from the ensuing list of actions. Click OK from the Are you sure you wish to delete this permit message that displays. The permit will be cleared from the dashboard. Alternatively, you can resume the unfinished permits changing information as needed to issue a new permit. Any permits on the dashboard with a status of issued can be copied by clicking the Select link in the Action column. Click Select, then Copy Permit. This will create a new permit of the same permit type with today's start date. From here, you can edit any vehicle information in the route as needed. This is extremely helpful when there has been a previously ordered permit with a difficult route or if a route is needed with a lot of the same information. If for some reason an additional copy of a permit is needed, KTRIPS has a resend feature to resend the PDF. Click the Select link in the Action column and then choose View Permit. This will display the Permit Details screen. From this screen, you can enter a fax number or email address in the Resend by Fax or Email To text box. Click the email or fax icon to resend the PDF. A permit may be resent only if it has a status of issued. The permit details screen will also display any information input during the permit ordering process, including vehicle information, changes made, and payments made. KTRIPS will also allow you to add several vehicles without having to order separate permits when you need multiple power units for a load with the same dimension and route. Start your new permit as normal. Once the truck and load information screen is displayed, click the Add Power Unit icon in the top left corner next to the Vehicle Inventory drop-down list. This will add an additional permit for a separate power unit. You can add as many or as few power units as you need. Thanks for watching. This concludes the KTRIPS user tutorial video on useful tips using KTRIPS. Don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.